Hello, everybody. This is Thomas Ott for Rapid Miner, and welcome to a really, really cool video about something that I just recently integrated with Rapid Miner Server. What I'm talking about is something called D3 JavaScript. And if you're not familiar with it, D3 stands for Data Driven Documents. And it's a JavaScript library that's slowly becoming the de facto standard out there for visualizations using JavaScript. And we're going to actually today integrate this JavaScript, one of the creating a simple uh, horizontal bar chart into Rapid Miner Server. And how could you integrate the JavaScript uh, scripting and everything into the Rapid Miner Server and actually visualize D3 JavaScript on the server? So let's get started. What we're going to do is keep it very, very simple here. I'm going to pull up my process and explain a little bit too. In this particular case, all I'm doing is here is I'm just taking one of the Rapid Miner Studios Generate Data Operator as a way to show a proof of concept to say that it is possible. So if I were to run this, and I let me put a breakpoint over here, and let's inspect the data here. I have a label and some attributes. And in this particular case, what I want to do is I want to visualize a bar chart for attribute one and attribute two. So I do that by doing a couple different things. I come over here, let's take this breakpoint out. I select the attributes, those two right here, attribute one and two, and I filter them out. I only want to show the positive ones here because there are some negative values in here. And then I generate a new attribute by actually rounding them up to two decimal places, right? So I take it from, I don't know how many decimal places down to two. And then I take that data and I export it to a JSON file. A JSON file is, I believe, a JavaScript uh, object notation. And then from that information, I take it and I write it back into a data and extract a macro from it. And then the most important thing is this one here, to create the document. So before I open that up, is what I'm doing here is I'm actually creating another set of macros. I create two macros. One is the JSON data macro, which we're going to take all the JSON data and write it automatically into the JavaScript as a variable. And I'm also doing a, an attribute macro where I can select individually attribute one or attribute two. Now, these type of macros, if you see in the other videos that Rapid Miner has, it's quite self-explanatory. It allows you to provide more customary or more custom uh, interaction with your dashboards by selecting bits and pieces of information here and there and displaying it differently. So what I'm doing here is what I want to do is I want to extract all the JSON data as a macro, and then I want to be able to provide a control component in the Rapid Miner dashboard to select between attribute one and two and show that bar chart individually for attribute one and two. So let's pop open the create document operator over here. And this is where the magic happens. So this is where I actually create an HTML document. So I'm creating a document where I have my uh, HTML head. I call out the D3 JavaScript uh, in, code over here. I have a little bit of a styling that I'm doing here to, to style the actual bar chart. And this is where I'm actually parsing now here. I'm setting a variable where I set my data. And here I use the rapid minor uh, percent uh, curly brackets and the macro name here to drop that JSON data right into here, right into this text. And when we run it, you'll see how it happens. And I'm calling out some JavaScript functions over here by setting the scale, I'm generating the chart. And then what I do over here is this is where I pass the attribute macro here by returning the data. Down here is when I generate the chart, I say return the data for this attribute, ATT1 or ATT2. And that's how you pass that macro directly into here, which is really, really cool. So let's apply this. Let's run it. And let's take a look at the raw data here. So the output over here is the raw data. You can see here where it says variable data, it dropped my JSON file right into here. And come down over here, you should see that now it dropped the ATT1 because after all, that's what our value was set here originally for that macro. So how do you then use this process now, deploy it onto the server and pull it into a dashboard? Quite simply, you build a dashboard off of it. Let's come over here. And what I did over here, really simple, we'll just go out of the exit view here. I created my control component where I can select the different types of attributes. And I came back over here if we were to look at this. And then here's where I created the actual horizontal bar chart. And this is what it actually looks like. I'm kind of giving it away here for a moment. But let's take a look at the data in the format here. I select the process that's stored on my server. And I set the output type to HTML. And this is the key because I did generate an HTML document with the JavaScript in it. And now I say Rapid Miner Server, show me the HTML rendering of that. 
and I make sure that the MIME type is set to text HTML. And you can see here the attribute macro follows through. So I select the attribute selection over here, right? And let's go visualize this now. Let's do a preview. It's currently set at attribute one, you can see here. And if I go to attribute two, I can hit submit and this will automatically update. So now the power of the D3 JavaScript library is in your hand. You can merge it with Rapid Miner Server, a platform that can allow you to put all this together and you can create your own custom visualization. How cool is that? This is another reason why Rapid Miner Server is a very powerful tool and it just does not limit you to the box that you think it comes in. It can scale, it can do different things, you can pull different information in and show what you need to show for your business processes. Thank you very much for watching. This is Thomas Ott for Rapid Miner. Have a great day.